So when you're working with your clients and particularly as you're trying to build a coaching package, that's extremely valuable and like very high perceived value and something that your client will, uh, will pay you really well for the question to be asking is as you're talking to them, the question you're asking yourself and the research that you're doing is what's that next emergent level for this person? Okay, what is that next level for them? It's not a progression. It's not that next step. It's actually that next level upward and outward that transcends their current sense of their identity, their current roles, everything that they're up to in their life. Okay, what is that next level? And what, what we need here for them is we need a vision of transformation. Okay, we need a vision of transformation. I interviewed my good friend, Mary Morrissey yesterday for our upcoming Coach Expo, and we had a really great jam on this one. And she, she really understands this, you know? And it's, it's like, if we can help our clients to have the vision of transformation, right? We could call it a TV, right? A transformation vision, right? If we can help them have their own little personal TV in their mind, right? Exchange the TV in reality for this TV, which is a transformation vision. If we can, if they can get there, then the, the sales pitch is, okay, now you can see what's possible for you. Would you like to actually make that here now? Would you like to bring that into 3D? And then that's it. That's the sales pitch. And then the coach kind of coaches them through all of the struggles and all of the resistance and all that other stuff because... They're going to say, oh, I don't know if I can afford it. I don't know if I've got the time. Uh, you know, I don't know. And as far as I'm concerned, if you can really figure this out with a person and get clear on their, you know, their transformation, what is more valuable than them reaching that? Is there anything? I mean, maybe arguably you could say, well, you know, maybe their family's lives, you know, or something really big. Like if, okay, my kid was falling off a cliff and I had to choose between saving them and becoming my transformation vision. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I'd probably save my daughter rather than, but what else, <laughs> you know, what, what would I not trade? to reach that. Does that make sense, everyone? Now, there's a lot of blocks that'll come up too, okay? So when you, um, you know, when you've got a really good transformation vision, it's scary because somebody who, you know, let's say they want to lose weight and get into good shape, some part of you, them is going to immediately go, I'm going to have to stop eating the junk food. Right. And it, the, all kinds of rationalizations come up that then come out in other ways, you know, or if someone, <clears throat> you know, it's time for them to get into a relationship that's really meaningful. And you're showing them, okay, here's the vision. You know, you're putting it together with them, helping them craft it, and they're getting clear. Right. They're looking into that TV, let's say. And they're seeing it. And then all of a sudden the resistance come up. Oh my God, I'm going to have to be vulnerable. Oh no, I'm going to have to deal with my issues. Oh no, they're going to find out that I am neurotic and okay. And then those masquerade, they, they come up with all these presenting issues, objections on price, or I don't have the time or, you know, all that kind of stuff. Does it, is this making sense, everybody? Okay. So we started with asking the question, what's possible? 
what is possible. And I love it. If you think about that word for a minute, what's possible, it can be interpreted in multiple ways. Okay, so what's possible could mean what is possible for me, but it could also mean what is the word? What is, what is the concept? What is this thing called possible? What is this idea? Most people have a small sense of what's possible. Um, my friend Claire Zamet told me a few years ago something that just really blew my mind. She's done a huge amount of uh, research and work in kind of women's transformational leadership and coaching. And she said she did a bunch of research and she found that women on average have a smaller sense of what's possible than men. And so if you're working with women, it's particularly important to help them expand their sense of just what's possible because that alone can have a huge impact. Okay. Now I think that if, uh, I haven't val you know, verified this for myself, but it just intuitively sounds pretty good. Right. So, um, you know, if this is what on average a woman thinks is possible and like, that's what a man thinks is possible. It on the relative scale, it almost doesn't matter because we need to get people like out here. Does that make sense, everybody? Because it's, it's not like every man I've ever met is uh, thinks that anything is possible. You know what I mean? It's it. They're still relatively pretty, you know, pretty small kind of thing, right? Okay. Now, as a coach or as a teacher, and particularly when you're doing sales and marketing, okay, so what, what you know, what most coaches do in my experience is they take this, that old world model that I talk about a lot from uh, the kind of professional world, the academic world, and they look through that lens they, they've got on this lens, this whole filter system of what's possible based on what their experience was in the past, what the rules are, you know, what, uh, what other people have experienced, what the research says. They've got all this stuff on, like that's what's possible. Rather than sitting down and just asking, okay, well, what do you want to create in your life? What's the vision that you want to make? What's the outcome that you'd like to uh, achieve? You know, what do you want to manifest? Let's start from a blank canvas. And if you start from the, the limited reference points of what has been possible in the past and what other people think are possible, it acts as a, um, and this isn't all bad necessarily, but it acts as a, a kind of like these horse blinders or like, you know, Robert Einstein Tom Wilson calls it a reality tunnel that you're looking through. It's like this myopic little tunnel that you can, you can look through. Um, and again, that's not always bad. Sometimes it can actually be useful. It can be very positive. Um, but generally speaking, my experience is that coaches, teachers, folks are trying to grow and, and scale. What they're doing is, so let's say that, um, let's say that, uh, what's normally possible or what would be, uh, reasonable for someone to expect, you know, is like this level of success. Um, so for example, um, when, uh, when a lot of people try to lose weight, they lose a little weight, they go on a diet, and then they just go gain it all back. Right? So they maybe lose weight for like a little while. Uh, or, um, I don't know, maybe if uh, someone goes out on a date, right, they go on a date, and they go, okay, I went on a date, but then they get self-conscious and discouraged and afraid. And so they don't call the person back, you know, or they, um, they sabotage themselves in some way. And a lot of us in the, in the domain where we want success, we're doing all these, um, you know, self-sabotage kind of things, but what's possible when you expand your sense of it, you know, it might be over here. Okay. It might might be more useful to actually be asking, well, hang on, instead of just going on a diet and like losing five pounds, what if I actually thought about the rest of my life and how I want to live? And what if I thought about the vision for how much energy I want to have and how often I got sick and how long I, 
how many more years I want to live and how much more energy I want to have around my kids and my grandkids. And does this make sense? It's different, different, right? And this one, you know, maybe this is like, you know, a diet and uh, five pounds. And maybe this is like a total, you know, it's a transformational vision of lifestyle. And it's, you know, maybe it's like lose 30 pounds and, you know, lose all this belly fat and get into great lean shape and be able to run three miles and, you know, have like super vital energy and be mobile and powerful and be a great inspiration to others. The, the diff, the distance between these is great. You know, this might be like 10 X that other transformation. Does that make sense? Everybody. So if you start here, if you start with someone, you go, okay, well, what do you want to do? And they go, well, I'd like to lose five pounds and go on a diet. And that's kind of the paradigm. Well, that's it. And what's the value of a coach that helps a client lose five pounds and go on a diet for a month or something? What is the value of that versus what's the value of a coach who says, okay, so you want to lose five pounds. You want to go on a diet. That sounds awesome. Let's talk about what you're trying to create here in your life. Let's, let's really talk about what's possible here. You know, how much, how much extra weight do you have on you that you'd ultimately like to lose? Oh, 30 pounds. Okay. Well, what's, what are some of the problems that that's causing in your life right now? Okay. And what are the problems that that those problems are causing? Okay. And what happens if you lose the 30 pounds Then what are all the possibilities and how's that going to impact all the rest of your life? And how's that going to even help you get to the next level? How will that facilitate you achieving the next level in your relationships and your business? And right, you build a whole profile around like the big, the big vision. And what happens in my experience when you do this with your clients is at some point the, the client starts realizing, like, I've been thinking small. There's something much bigger available to me here that I had never even considered, never even crossed my mind that I could go all the way to this. And so uh, in, uh, in the developmental paradigms, a good rule of thumb is that most people can imagine one level higher. Okay, we can, we can kind of imagine it. Maybe we can dip our toe like 20% into it with our imagination. We really can't imagine what it's like to be there because it's so different. It's so it's such a different paradigm. It's a different value system. It's a different way of different identity. It's a different culture. It's, it's another it's another world. But we can't usually imagine two levels. Two levels is too far. It's too far away. Okay. But we can imagine one, and that's the key. It's just that most of us haven't had someone actually have what we could call a transformational coaching session. Okay, a coaching session to coach us in creating a transformational vision that's actually next level. Like that really, when you're finished with it, you say, man, I never thought of that. Never thought about that what would be, what I could do if I did that. I never thought about how my life could be different. And even if you know folks have thought about that a little bit, what they haven't done is they haven't put all the puzzle pieces together. They haven't imagined all the impacts of the problem or challenge that they have on their life, just like we learned in Virtual Coach. And they haven't imagined the positive impacts that that transformation, they haven't really gone through and like drawn a matrix in their mind and said, okay, so if I have this transformational thing happen, how's that going to affect my health? If I reach the transformational vision, how's that going to affect my relationships? If I reach my transformational vision, how's it going to affect my business, right? They haven't gone through and actually done all the kind of the math. When you do it with them, when you go check every one of the boxes with them and you spend an hour or two or whatever, I mean, you really should be doing this over the whole, the life of the relationship. You get a little bit more. You keep filling this puzzle out. You keep filling out this picture here. When you're the one that says, no, we're going to go through and we're going to explore this whole map, 
you're helping them make a vision that's so next level, just so beyond what they th they've ever even considered before. And then the coaching package, whatever you call it, the coaching package is the transformational vision. You're selling them at the next level. Then when they show up and they say, well, um, I, you know, I don't know if I can afford this. You can say, well, help me make this, you know, let's make it make sense here because, you know, and the spirit here is, you know, as a coach, yeah, I'd like to get paid and I'd like to have this coaching relationship with you, but what's more important in your life than this, right? You're saying that you don't have the time or you're saying that you, know, you can't afford this right now. Well, what, what else would you be investing in? You know, let's, let's just take a look at it here. And then it, it, if you, you know, if you're the kind of person that studied sales and closing techniques and making offers and all those kinds of things, all those techniques actually come back to being useful when you get this underlying concept. 